Here are six tips for having a good mentality in Fortnite, presented by Fortnite Master. Getting better at Fortnite isn't just about perfecting your mechanical skill like building strats and flick shots. A huge part of improvement has to do with your mentality when playing the game. This video explains some ways to keep a good mentality throughout the game and learn from your mistakes in a constructive manner. Without wasting any time, let's get started. First, we're going to address the mistake a lot of players make thinking solely about winning the game. With this thought process, unless you're winning a good percentage of your games, you're falling short of your goal most of the time. This can quickly lead to feelings of disappointment, frustration, or inferiority. It's more reasonable to think about winning each individual fight, which will not only help your mentality, but help you learn how to get better much faster. Think of a win as just a series of successful fights in a single game. As for each engagement, try to think of it as a test of skill between you and the enemy. One side will usually have some sort of an advantage to start out, but the great thing about Fortnite is that there's almost always a way to flip that advantage, you just have to find it. When you lose a fight, focus on how you could have played differently to flip that advantage, rather than spending all of your energy being mad at whatever went wrong. There's no point in getting intimidated by a player based on their skin or how good they look. You need to take every engagement as if you have a serious chance of winning. If you play like you can win every fight, you'll be more willing to get into fights, which is one of the best ways to improve your own gameplay. In fact, fighting better players is a great way to learn and get better yourself. And we know that sometimes when fighting really good players, you barely have a chance to even take a single shot at them before dying. But there are still ways to learn from these fights. It's important to be able to identify the point during the fight when you lost the advantage, as well as any mistakes you made. Most of the time when you die without being able to do anything, it means you lost the advantage very early in the fight and never got a chance to recover because the other player was too quick. For these situations, identify the earliest point in which the other player took control of the fight and try to adjust your own gameplay next time. There are, of course, some situations where you legitimately couldn't do anything, but believe us when we say, they happen a lot less than you think. As a tangent from the previous tip, a big reason that some players tend to avoid engagements is because they don't want to die. Well, we've got news for you. You're playing a battle royale. This means that 99 out of 100 people in each lobby will die. You need to accept that this is an inevitability and recognize that few pros actually win 40% of their games or more. Accepting this fact will help you go into fights without fear and use your deaths as learning experiences. Trust us when we say we understand that some deaths can be uncontrollably frustrating. But there are two sides to that coin. Most of the time, these annoying deaths are also extremely funny when you look at it from the other perspective. Learning to laugh at yourself and finding humor in ways you die will help lighten your mood immensely and make you a lot more fun to play with. A lot of players will get nervous after seeing that only a handful of players are left in their game. When looking at how many players are left, don't think of it like there are that many players left between you and a win, but rather, there are that many players left for you to fight. In endgame scenarios, the players are more likely to be better, so use this as an opportunity to fight other good players when you have both mats and a decent loadout. Going back to the previous point, this is one of the fastest ways to improve. Whenever possible, it's important to have a plan for engagements. If an enemy gets jumped on, and you immediately follow with strong pressure, it can be hard to come up with a plan. For engagements like this, your best bet is to look at the fight in hindsight to figure out what went wrong, and then make a preemptive plan for the next time something like this happens. However, for engagements that you initiate, or for those that you find a chance to reset, you should have a plan before acting. This requires game knowledge of what to do in what situation. And you can learn this from watching streamers, YouTube videos, or some of our other videos. Remember, every engagement starts from the moment one of the players spots the other one, even if one player isn't aware of the other. Finally, you need to have the mentality to practice what you learn. In Fortnite, it's one thing to know what you did wrong, but it's another thing completely to use what you learned in a real game. If in your last game you died to the storm and were like, I rotated too late, you should think to yourself in each game, okay, I need to be rotating by this time and keep actively making the effort to do this until it becomes second nature. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed, then please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to stay updated and notified for when we post a new video. From over here at Fortnite Master, my name is the Sage One, and we're out.
Peace.